Hello YouTube. I'm back with an update video. As you saw in the thumbnail, this is an update for the uh, Starlink stuff. Uh, it has been a week since I've hooked it up and if you watched my first video, uh, you saw that set up um, a little bit. And I'll show you the, the dish is still pointing the same direction it was. Uh, it's pretty much locked in. Off-grid arcade, right there. Games, lots of games get played there. Uh, it is a beautiful sunny day. A brisk 30 degrees right now outside, hence the hat. But uh, I figured I'll come up here and shoot this video. Um, flawless, it has been absolutely flawless. After those first 20 to 30 minutes, when it did all of its hookup and set up and it decided to point this direction. Um, it has been seamless as far as we can see. Um, I do uh, look on the app and, and look for outages and I will show you that in just a minute. Um, but uh, let's just, yeah, let me get out my phone and I will put a uh, screenshot, let me, let me do this, I will, oops, I, I should have got this ready first, but I'm going to record my screen, if I can find that dang screen record, here we go, record, three, two, one, okay, so I will put my screen up over here on my phone and I am outside right now but the router sits on this end of the house so I'm hoping I get a good speed test let's do a speed test it, it's funny it says Google Fi on here sometimes and sometimes it will say Starlink um, but it is all through the Starlink uh, oh look it's connected to Orez and down in Mexico. Oh. See, if I hold over here, I'm a little closer to the router. Looks like 252. I'll show you. I, I am doing this test live. This is not me doing shenanigans. 35. That's a good upload speed. 36. I had 63 for an upload speed the other day. So there we go. We got 253 down and 36 up. It's a pretty good speed test. Um, now let's go back to the outages. Let me close this. Let me uh, get out of here. And in here I have my Starlink app open. When I guess I had it open too long and it reclosed. So let me open this. Um, you can see on here my network, I have 23 devices hooked up because we have Google Home stuff everywhere. Uh, tell it to turn on lights and all that junk. So there are 23 devices. Um, and let's go to the stats button. Network statistics. Oh, look, there's one there. Uh, in the last 12 hours, there was no single signal received for 18 seconds and network issues for one minute. That's probably that one big dropout, which looks like it was a little bit ago. Uh, if you look on those outages, they're just little ticks. They're completely seamless. Um, matter of fact, that big one was at just a few minutes ago, I'm guessing, at 9, 12 maybe. I didn't notice. We were inside watching a, a YouTube video. Um, most of those things you don't even, well, I've never seen it where it buffers or anything like that. It just keeps on going. Um, you can do an internal speed test on here. I've never done it uh, past the first thing. But let me show you this other app. It's really neat. Um, Satellitemap.space you can see on this, we are in the center. 
where all the red lines are coming off. And that's, that's us. The, the ground station that we connect to is down here in Sanderson, Texas. You can see the satellites zooming around. And it tells you how many satellites... I'm guessing it's telling you how many satellites are in range. This is not... It says right on the bottom of the screen. Not affiliated with SpaceX or Starlink. I think it just knows where the satellites are. It tracks them, knows where you are once you input your position. And it will tell you any satellites that are in range. Now you have to be within 500 miles of a ground station. This Sanderson one is about 120 miles straight line to us. Uh, the Dumas, Texas up there is actually within that range. Um, but I'm, I'm sure we always connect to this one. And uh, it's, it's pretty neat. I told uh, my son Jason, the one, he works at SpaceX. I told him, I said, ah, I could watch this all day. Just watching the satellites fly around and what are we connected to? What are we not connected to? Um, yeah, see that one is a little bit south of us, that lower one. And it says that we can still be connected. It did ask me which direction the antenna is pointed. That is north, right behind us. So, but yeah. So as far as we can see, it is just seamless. Um, I'll zoom out on that so you guys can watch the little satellites flying around. I heard someone. I heard a voice, which is very rare out here. I can't look that way because there's something shining off the back. Of... Oh, looks like my neighbor's coming over. And we have a neighbor right over behind us. I've never met him yet. Um, so I'm going to have to end this video right here because the neighbor's walking over. So, All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got Starlink coming, you're going to be stoked. You're going to love it. So uh, I will catch you on the next one. Watch some of my other videos. If you're here just for the Starlink stuff, but you like retro gaming, yeah, there is an arcade in that. Yeah, I play a lot of games. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.